First step you should do is to set up the appearance of the chart. That means you should change the colors of the chart. I'm using black and white setup because it is the most cleaner setup I have found and it makes me much easier to analyze the chart. If you do not like the way how the chart looks, you can change the color so it fits you. To change the colors you need to click right mouse button while you are on the chart. And on the option list you need to select settings which is at the bottom. Then you will have a new window. In that window you need to select color window. You see there are all options you have and which you can change the color for. There is a quick option to set the colors of the chart to black and white. You see here is drop down window that has the option black and white. Click on that and the chart in a small window below will change the colors. This is the color setup I want to have on my chart so I will leave like that. If you want to use other colors you can do that by changing the colors on the right side where are other color settings. Try to change any of the settings and you will see the change on the chart that is on the left side. The next step is to turn off the grid. You see the grid on the chart. I do not need that grid because I want to have a clean chart that has a white background. To remove the grid you need to select second menu in this window and new options will show up. Here you can see the grid option which I will uncheck. One more option you need to change is the ask line. Check the box next to ask line. When you check that box you see new line has appeared on the chart. Those two lines represent buy and sell price. I will explain this in another lesson, so do not bother with this now. You can close the window. You see now I have a chart with white background and black bars. This looks much cleaner than the initial color setup. Next step is to remove any additional stuff on the chart. You can see a red line on the chart. It is indicator which I will not use, so I will remove it. To do that, click on the right mouse button while you are on the chart. And on the options list, you will see indicator list. Click on it and new window will appear. On the left side you will see all indicators on the chart. In this case I have one indicator so I will remove him. Click on the indicator and on the right side select delete. When you do that the indicator will be removed from the chart. Thank you for watching Get Now Trading channel. To give you more value I have prepared a workshop where you will learn 5 steps how to start trading on the forex market. And it is for anyone who wants to start trading on the forex market. There are no conditions. You do not need to know anything because it is meant to show you all the steps which you need to start trading from the beginning up to being a trader. It takes half hour to watch it, but at the end you can expect to be ready to move forward. It's free, so there is nothing you can lose. Visit the link I have put below in the description and start your trading journey.